Hello guys and welcome to the free course of Elliott Waves, which is a special course from our academy that elaborates the laws and the guidelines that arrange this method of analysis. But first, we should illustrate the program that shows that we're gonna start with the waves degrees and then we'll see the laws of the mode of waves and the laws of the corrective waves till we get to the helping tools with the public guidelines. Of course, we're gonna go through some examples to clarify the idea more in a more practical way. And then we'll see the six waves of confirmation through Elliott waves, like confirm the end of the impulsive waves, the end of the diagonal waves, and then the end of the corrective waves in general, whether the zigzag, the flats, and the complex patterns. And then we'll see the count techniques and applying the rules on the charts, and then the advanced methods for trading with applications. So let's see the waves degrees. The waves degrees means that every wave has a subwaves. In other words, waves from a lower degree as its internal structure. And this wave has to be apart from a certain wave, which means in the higher degree. For example, we have an impulsive wave like that. We can see that this wave includes five waves in the lower degree, one, two, three, four, and five and this whole wave has to be apart from another wave in the higher degree it can be wave one and then we make the wave two and then we see wave three and so on or it can be wave three for example this is wave one ended here and then we saw wave two and then this wave can represent wave three and then we make wave four and then wave five and so on in case we finish it wave three here and then we made wave four can be wave 5 and if this is wave A and this is wave B from a zigzag this can be wave C so as you can see as this wave has an internal sub waves it can be also a part from a wave in the higher degree so this is what we mean by the waves degrees now let's move on to the term of the degree of the wave it means that we classify the waves to a certain degree based on their time consumption and how we do that we do that by simply looking to the schedule. As you can see in this schedule, we have different names that represent a different degrees. Now let's say we have an impulsive wave like that, one, two, three, four, five, and this wave consume a time not less than two minutes and not more than 48 hours. This means that this wave is from a submicro degree. And let's say that this wave consume a time not less than two weeks and not more than two years this means that this wave is from a minor degree if this wave consumed let's say more than 20 years like the impulsive waves that we find them in the monthly chart or in the historical data then we say that this wave is from a grind super cycle degree and so on we label this wave through a number here are just some examples you can count the wave through any way you want but you better change the way you write the numbers and their size and their color in each time you find a certain degree because the more you are organized the better your charts will be let's say for example you made a count for this waves one two three four and five with this numbers then the sub waves that will represent the waves one and three and five like we will see them later whether the wave one or three or five like here for example one two three four five you label them through this way there is no parentheses the numbers are with a lower size and preferably with another color too so through this way you can identify the degree of the wave that is in front of you and also you can make your chart organized so that's it for this video and i'll see you in the next lesson